Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In the last video, I showed you around the raised bed garden behind me. We looked at my vegetables and I talked about how those are being grown. And today I'll be showing you around the front yard landscaping and I'll show you some trees that I'm growing back here. Um, these are all ornamental, so if you're into that, stick around and check it out. Okay, my audio was so bad, so I will talk over the footage here. I'm starting on the left side of my home where I have some ground cover in the form of sweet alyssum and bacopa. I planted these in early spring and they quickly began to spread out. I thought I'd try each of these because I wanted a carpet of white flowers in this area and that's what I got. <laughs> they each began to fill in pretty well but the alyssum is definitely more lush with growth than the bacopa. I will probably propagate these and plant more throughout the area so it looks evenly coated. But yeah, I love, love, love the white flowers here. I also planted blue salvia and these are by far my favorite for this section. <laughs> this whole area is my little personal cut flower garden. I decorate the home with these by arranging a few flowers in a vase for the kitchen, living room, bedroom, anywhere. Now we're looking at a Jaguar Gerbera. I think I'm pronouncing that right. I have one yellow and one pink. I have Creeping Juniper here. And this came with the initial landscaping when the house was built last year. This is a young dwarf lemon tree that I've had for about a year. And I placed this in a large pot in full sun earlier this spring. I'm not sure how it'll progress this year because it's still a young tree. But I will continue caring for it as best as I can. This is a three-tiered Eugenia topiary. I purchased this from Costco's garden center. Y'all, there's a Costco garden center in my city. <laughs> I was so surprised to learn that. So I definitely went there and checked it out. And I came home with four of these. And this is one of them. I also got one for my mother-in-law and she's loving it too. Now let's check out the other side. Here I have a walkway and some plants growing on both sides. We have a gardenia plant that I also picked up from Costco. It's not doing too great, and to be honest, I wasn't really sure about it when I got it, but I did want one. So I have it here in a pot and in a location where it will get full sun. And I need to understand what's the matter with it though. All right, and continuing down the walkway, I'll be honest, y'all, I don't know the name of this plant. I have an app that identifies it as either red mangrove or inkberry, but I'm not totally sure. This was included in the home's landscaping, so I didn't add them myself. I kind of take them for granted, them being here, but I do enjoy them because they're evergreen. They are frost and heat tolerant. So... I really don't have to think about them at all, and that's one less worry. I have a purple Huchera that I purchased from Home Depot. They are by far my favorite plant here in the front. And when I saw these, I thought all of them that were there, there were only four remaining, and all four are right here. Continuing along, I have a cauliflower plant but I already harvested the head, so I need to take this plant out and replace it with something else. I really love the blue tone of the leaves, and I thought it would look good in this area among all the other colors, like the purple, the lime green shrubs here, and also against this grass. Here's another cauliflower plant that should be ready to harvest in a couple of weeks. Next, we're looking at my longest growing plants, and that is this hollyhock. I sowed these seeds around this time last year. It slowly grew in my raised bed and got pretty large. 
Then it died back during the winter. After that, it snapped back into shape early this year and I moved it into this pot so it could continue to grow. It began blooming a month ago and it's been such a joy to watch this plant that I've been nurturing and caring for finally give me a show. I didn't even know what color the flowers were gonna be. So when I first saw that little peak of pink, oh, I was so excited to see it in full bloom. And here it is. Now let's look at the right side of the walkway. I have more Bacopa and Sweet Alyssum to match the other side. Um, and I'm really loving these white flowers and how spread out they are. One thing that I will change about this area is edging this area between the grass and where this landscaping starts. It's not as neat as I would like it to be, so I'll work with my husband and he and I will make sure that it looks a little nicer. This pot has poinsettia that I kept after the holidays and that is surrounded by this lime colored coleus. Here we have a crepe myrtle. This was also included with the home's landscaping and it's beginning to bloom as you can see here. I have a couple of more of the three-tiered Eugenia topiaries on each side of the door. Again, I got these from Costco. Let's take a look at them. I plan on transplanting these roses into the spot where the cauliflower was, the cauliflower that I already harvested. Um, I really, I'm just really enjoying these white flowers. It's the theme in that area, actually, because of the bacopa, the alyssum, even the cauliflower, <laughs> that's white. Um, the gardenias, white flowers, the crepe myrtle is giving me white flowers. So that is sort of the theme around here. It's kind of that cottagey feel with, you know, a bunch of white flowers and, you know, stuff like that. Lastly, I want to take you to the back and show you the trees. I have about four blue point junipers that are staged for planting into the ground. All we need to do is check the irrigation to ensure that it's safe to dig there, and then they'll go in. These will grow to be about 12 feet tall and eight feet wide max, but we don't plan on letting them grow even half that size. When I saw these, I knew right away that I wanted them in the yard. The blue needles are a nice contrast to all this greenery back here. Um, it'll also become a great privacy screen as it grows. Cookie wanted to join the tour, so everyone say hi to Cookie. But anyway, that's all for me. Thanks for watching part two. Bye-bye.